Hey guys, what's up? What is up, up, up? Seriously? My eye is kind of messed up. You can't see, it's still messed up a little bit. So, I kind of look like a weirdo, but what the fuck? Man, my eye movie is just messing up. I had all this film ready. Super excited to make this movie, or like, not a movie, but it's like a little, it's like a little music video type thing. And I gotta refilm everything because the video footage is just all messed up. But anyways, I'm just gonna do a little chat here. Um, I'm just looking for a job right now. Yeah, it's in the ground. I'm just looking for a job right now and uh, apply to some places. Um, looks pretty promising. Uh, I might get a cooking job. You guys probably didn't know that. Pool boy is a cook. Oh, crazy. Not only is he good in bed, but he can cook. That's what I'm going to talk about for a little bit, some boyfriend stuff. Being a boyfriend. How do you be a good boyfriend? There's always different stages, right? There's different stages of being a boyfriend. You know, there's the, you just become a boyfriend stage. There's the, you know, we've been going out for a couple months. Now things are getting a little serious. I got to kind of, you know, figure stuff out. Boyfriend stage. And there's like the, you know, we're boyfriend, girlfriend, serious, going at it stage. There's the, um, okay, when are you going to start? Like, are you going further than this boyfriend stage? And there's like the kind of lazy boyfriend stage where you know, you've been going out for however many years and you still haven't asked her to marry you. There's many boyfriend stages, um, but no matter what stage you're in, as soon as you become a boyfriend, you can't cheat. That's the number one rule, you don't cheat. Because having that, uh, that uh, title, boyfriend, I think that title means that you are committing yourself and that you are devoting yourself to that person. To what degree is up to you and is up for discussion, but you still have to commit yourself to that person. That's how it works, that's how the whole title works. You can't be called, you know, it's like you can't be a father without a son. So you know, you can't be a boyfriend if you're cheating. Well, I guess you can, if she doesn't find out, but no, no, it's just not, not cool, man, not cool. I'm gonna break this boyfriend thing up into three, uh, three stages. First stage will be uh, just a boyfriend you know from just being a boyfriend to you know a couple weeks in it's very early stage second I'm gonna talk about is like uh, anywhere from several months to under a year maybe just a little bit over a year get a little bit more into the intermediate uh, level of being a boyfriend and then after that is obviously you know the serious relationship type boyfriend okay so as I was saying there's a couple stages of the boyfriend I'm gonna go off on the first stage here. First stage is, you know, the it's called the elementary stage, you know, the beginner stage. Everything's new, just became a boyfriend. Congratulations. You must feel fantastic. There's a couple things you really need to do, and there's a couple things you shouldn't do. Well, like I already stated, no cheating. Does this mean you can't talk to other women? No. Does this mean you can't have other women as friends? No, definitely not. Does this mean you can go to a party, get absolutely smashed drunk, and hang out with girls, talk to them, play around with them, touch them, play flirty games? Yeah, that's what that means. See, this is where things get real, and you know, the guy realizes, I am not ready for a girlfriend. If you're the type of guy who likes to go around and party, nothing wrong with this, but if you are that type of guy, you need to think to yourself, am I willing to give up this flirty attitude? Right now, I'm a very flirty guy. Anyone on Twitter knows that? Hey, no shame. I'm not going to commit myself to a girl because I know that I can't promise and actually devote myself because I love to flirt. I, if there's a girl who wants to flirt with me, I will probably flirt back with her because I like that attention. Until I'm old enough to fully devote myself to a woman and I'm fully ready for that, I will not do that. Guys, it's hard because Especially at a young age for, you know, first boyfriends, they're, all, they're always like, oh, you know, and thinking in their head, but this girl likes me, I want to make her happy, okay? You know, you think you're being a nice guy, but you're not being mature if you go out with a girl, but you're still flirting with other girls, and then you kind of manipulate this one girlfriend to think, oh, well, it's okay if I do this with these girls, I don't even really, like, like them that much, but you do. Don't lie. It's another thing you shouldn't do. Don't smother your girlfriend, okay? You just started going out with your girlfriend. You've just become a boyfriend. Smothering is a no, no, no. Do not do that. Calling her every day, texting her all the time, seeing what she's up to, you know, just don't do that. You guys are still 
early on in the relationship, you're still learning stuff, you know, you need space. Trust me from experience. Essentially the two things you shouldn't do when you start being a boyfriend is don't be that guy who's like, yeah, I'll be your boyfriend, but I'm gonna flirt with other chicks. And don't be that guy who smothers. The early stages of a relationship are really fun. It can be really cool, and you don't wanna, you know, just run and rush into that stuff, so. Really, as a first uh, stage boyfriend, you just kinda wanna take things easy, wanna be nice, you wanna be a gentleman, you wanna be respectful, and you wanna slowly show her what kind of person you are. Second stage, this is where things get a little more serious. Things are getting a little more serious now, and you guys gotta, gotta think, you know, okay, we're going into about a year, a couple months, maybe a little bit over a year, and you know this girl pretty well. What are your responsibilities now? What do, you, what do you owe to this girl? Well, obviously, you owe her more time. You can't just blow her off like she's just the first stage girlfriend. She calls you, you should answer. You should call her back. You know, you should reply to her text. These are some things you owe to this person because you've been spending so much time with them. You owe them your time. You owe, you owe them respect. Mm, yeah, so things get a little more serious. You have a little more responsibilities. For the third stage boyfriend, this is, now this kind of, um, it's iffy because it depends on the relationship, depends on the people. Ultimately, I think the job of the boyfriend, like being a good boyfriend at this stage is to just keep up communication, make sure that his significant other knows how he's feeling about things because, you know, it, it gets more serious when you're getting on to, you know, two, three, five, ten years. You want that other person to know like what you're thinking you don't want to just keep it inside your head let's say one person thinks say John's like oh I have no idea what Mary wants from me I really would like to move in I'd like to get married and I'm not sure how to say this to her and you've been going out for like two five seven whatever ten years and you're thinking these things so you should approach her because if you're wanting to do these things and you're with her and you're spending your time with her why not say that to her? You're just gonna waste more time thinking about this stuff, worrying about it, and you can just approach her. Let's say Mary doesn't want to get married, she doesn't want to settle down, she just wants whatever you have, and you tell her this and it freaks her out. Oh my gosh, it's the it's a horrible thing that has just happened. No, no, no. Because, you know what, if Mary didn't really want to get married and she didn't really want that stuff, you could tell her a couple years later and she probably still wouldn't want it. If she does get scared, say to her, wait, hold on a second, before you freak out, let's talk about this, let's see what, you know, We've been spending so much time together. We've spent the past, you know, however long with each other. We should at least give it, uh, give this chance to each other to communicate. <clears> oh, <throat> this light is just not cool right now. So as a responsible adult, you know, usually these are adults that are the, being the three, third stage boyfriend. As a responsible adult, you should be able to go to your significant other and talk to them and, you know, have a mature talk about stuff. But, you know, I'm not judging. I don't necessarily believe in marriage or non-marriage. I'm not really excited that for myself. So it's the more you get into, the longer committed you are as a boyfriend, uh, the more it really is up to you and your significant other whether you want to take things further or what you exactly want to do. I guess the general rules are um, for being a boyfriend, it's just you owe your girlfriend time. You owe your girlfriend respect. Committing is committing. It's a hard thing to do, but you know, you. You can't half commit to a one girl and say she's your girlfriend. You gotta fully commit. That's what gives you the right to say you're a boyfriend. So I hope you guys get something out of that. Uh, sorry, today has been ugh, rough. I, filming that was a bitch because it kept on messing up, and my iMovie is just messing up. Like it's really unfortunate because my iMovie is making me not want to do vlogs anymore, and I really want to do it. So. I want to do this like everyday thing, but it's like getting really hard, so I'll keep you guys updated and tell you if I'm going to keep doing that, but I'll, I'll keep doing vlogs no matter what, but hope you guys like that little rant about boyfriends and stuff. Tell me what you think, tell me if you liked it, tell me if you didn't like it, give me your opinion. If you have any questions, I'm not, you know, I'm not a professional or anything like that, but if you got a problem with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, let me know and maybe I can help you. Alright, hope you guys are having a great day, a great night, I will talk to you later. Cool boy out.